Hello foodies, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had at Burdock & Company. It's a one-star Michelin restaurant in Vancouver. It's located at 2702 Main Street in Vancouver. The chef is Andrea Carlson and she serves a modern Pacific Northwest cuisine. So they have a fixed price menu. It's $95 per guest and it changes um, every four to six weeks something like that um, so we started off with some of their add-ons so this is the arctic sourdough for eight dollars with aged sake kasu butter so supposedly uh, chef carlson has some type of uh, yeast or whatever to make the sourdough so she's been kind of cultivating this in her home for many years and got this uh, specific um, I guess yeast from the Arctic so um, it was actually quite delicious so um, it's two big pieces for eight dollars and so um, you know can, you can two people can share a plate or you know if you have four people you can also share one uh, plate of this uh, sourdough next add-on was the buttermilk fried chicken for $22 with dill pickle powder and ranch dip again very nice dish I would say these add-ons are good um, in that um, with the actual tasting menu, I think you'd be um, okay uh, full. You wouldn't be like over full, but with these two add-ons, it was just perfect. I'll also mention they have a great um, Northern Cav Divine Caviar for $65. We've had that before, uh, so I think I've reviewed that on my previous review when uh, about a year ago. Key to that dish is the Tarragon Tater Tots with Creme Fraiche, so that's probably the best in the city, the Tater Tots. Um, so you can go to that review, which I did uh, previously uh, before they got their Michelin star. Uh, I'll have that at the end of this video. Uh, service standard is very friendly, very professional. They do change the plates um, with each dish and also the cutlery. Um, really unassuming, as you'll see in the next video. It's a very welcoming place, uh, unpretentious, but uh, the food is great quality. This is a short video of the ambiance showing um, what it looks like inside the restaurant. Chef Carlson changes the menu every four to six weeks. And so there's always a theme. This one is a citrus theme. So every dish had some type of a citrusy element to it. So the first dish is the Lisbon lemon. So stracciatelle cheese, Lisbon lemon and foxglove farm ginger ice with honsu pear and endive. So a salad dish very um, refreshing with the citrus element to it you could taste the ginger ice um, so it was quite a refreshing palate cleansing type dish uh, to start off with second dish is bergamot so it's rosemary smoked sieg linde potato uh, black garlic potato skin cream and shaved bergamot and again, um, you can take this two ways. One, you can say, well, it's such a simple dish. It's just potatoes, kind of uh, why am I paying for just slices of potatoes? Or you can take it as, wow, what did Chef Carlson take, do with just a simple thing like a potato? So I thought it was a delicious dish. Um, I thought it was kind of simple and it was just bite sized. So I thought it was uh, quite a nice dish. They do allow for corkage at the restaurant. I believe it was $45 for the corkage. And I brought a 1986 Pavilion Rouge. You can see my review of this wine on my other channel, Trophy Wine Hunter, which will be upcoming shortly. And I will put at the end of this video once I have posted um, the wine review video on my other channel. Next dish is called Sweet Lime. So it's Akami Tuna, Pork Hock and Leek, uh, Rose Hip and Sweet Lime Chili Paste with Shiitake Glaze. This is a neat dish. I actually um, thought it was just okay without the Pork Hock. I didn't think it added that much to it, in my opinion. I love the tuna with the chili paste sauce. So I thought that was kind of the star of the dish. Although the tuna was done in a manner that it did um, complement the Pork Hock quite a bit. It, um, was not it was kind of more firm um, in terms of its texture so it kind of um, paired very well with um, the uh, pork hock so I like this dish 
Next dish is the Rampur lime, so it's slow roasted lamb saddle, fermented potato, and charred grain risotto, Rampur lime, and then mountain huckleberry. Delicious dish. The um, roasted lamb was done very nicely. Um, the saddle is not a cut that you normally see, so I liked that. Um, and as you go through the dishes, what I really found um, in comparison to my last time that I visited this restaurant, um, I think it was a year, year and a half ago, was that I could see the progression. They were much simpler. And what I've found is um, in that situation, the food was great, but it was kind of not as focused. I think that Chef Carlson has now really focused herself. And the presentation, as you can look back at the other video, I think is better. Um, and also the storytelling in terms of the progression of food is um, much better. So it's much, you can see the uh, progression of Chef Carlson as a, as a chef, and I really enjoyed that. Last dish is the Meyer lemon parfait malted milk chocolate crema salted biscuit and malt caramel. Delicious dish. Um, it wasn't as um, acidic as I or tart that I as I uh, would like I like a little bit more tartar in terms of my lemon tarts and things like that um, but all in all I thought it was a great meal delicious love the progression of food um, it was a journey for me and um, in my opinion yes it is a one-star Michelin restaurant so I would uh, strongly recommend this restaurant love the service um, and again I'm sorry I go back to publish a main but I think um, that's where uh, that sets apart Burdock and company compared to um, restaurant publish a main. I think their service standard is, is much lower in my opinion and not as friendly and not as attentive. Hope you've enjoyed this video until next time. Happy eating.